to start uh, mixing this down. Um, let me see. Do I have my buses in here? Yeah, I do. Uh, because I have one of my sessions loaded last, I guess. So... Right now, everything is going out to main, and there's no other channels or subgroups or anything. There's a couple ways you can do this. Like, I probably don't have a horn sub. So, uh, let's see. Bus. Is there a horn sub? Oh, they're not even in any order. So, I don't know what I'm in here. So, setup, IO, buses. Let me sort them by name. And well, I can look in here and see if I have a horn sub. Gee, nope, I don't. So I don't have a horn sub, so I can show you something here. Um, you can set up a aux and a send and everything all at one time. So I'll select all these horns, and, and now I can hold down at least in uh, at least in Pro Tools. It's Option Shift on the send and we can say a new track and it'll create a new track we want to call it the uh horns and hit enter boom and there is a new sub called horns with this they're all sent to horns and this has the input of horns my subs are yeller um and I leave that at zero along with these guys here. So there's all the horns going out to there. Oh, we can uh, really quickly uh, just set up others new into a aux input. Call this guitars. And make it yeller. Guitar sub, yep, select all the guitars, send them out to guitar sub. And I could see separating electrics from acoustics, but in this instance, the electrics aren't really doing much. I think this is mostly acoustic stuff. Yeah, see, they're uh, these guys here. The uh, electric is just a effect, it seems, but definitely in stereo. So we have uh, these. To save myself some time, I'm gonna go with my main out first. So I create bunch of auxes for this. I have uh well to bad let's just do five real quick. We're gonna do my V comp my black blacky sub master <laughs> should have left it that way. Sub master I got my pre master and my Print out. Yeah, that'll work for now. And then on the end of that, I'll create a master fader. Master stereo. Boom. And it defaults to your first bus or whatever first stereo and these guys RNG premaster print out and these three guys go to premaster Their inputs for these two is mix power. 
where this is an overall parallel compression on the entire mix. This is Submaster. This is Premaster. It goes out my bounce sub. Then bounce sub. Yeah. That goes out main. Because in here, I can have a stereo audio track that I would call print. And this would go, yeah, out main as well. The input would be bounce sub. And I would just have this muted. And I would print to this track. But with uh, the newer Pro Tools, uh, you don't have to print to a track anymore, really. You could just bounce it out. Or bounce with an import option and then just add it to the end of the session. So this combobulated thing, uh, my V comp, I've come to these levels as how I have them set most of the time. Premaster zero zero. Well, we didn't solo safe these, did we? Solo safe. Yeah, this sub, this horn sub, that's the only two I did, right? Yes. And my V comp will be a dynamic V comp. And I have a preset, yes. And you can see the settings here. My blackie is a CLA. And I got these, uh, this setup idea from uh, Andrew Sheps. And back then you had to sign up for it, but now you can go to the WAVE site and go to learn all webinars. And in here, there's I've watched all these videos. Like I said, I watch everything I can. And it's called Deconstructing a Mix right here. Andrew Sheps. The song that he deconstructs in here is actually a, a sample the, the the sample song that came with I think Pro Tools 10 um, Audrey Sessions and in that he used only Pro Tools stock plugins but did the same thing and uh, I picked up on that and have been doing it uh, ever since I don't know when this was originally done but it was a while ago I guess and there's other stuff in here I learned off of uh, Yoad. What's his name? Yoad Nevo. <laughs> anyway, good resource for stuff. So there's the parallel out there. Submaster, premaster. On my premaster, that's where I put on my, what they call two bus processing. Um... And then that goes out to bounce, and then I can bounce to it. Well, and because I don't have an input monitoring, I don't have Pro Tools HD because I have the crippled version of Pro Tools that I paid top dollar for, but they don't think my computer can handle it. So uh, I do it this way so I can add a L3. I like the Ultra Maximizer. I think I had, nope. Uh, my interface, I come out to minus 1.1 and I won't, uh, I won't clip it. And the threshold 
will change, but I'll mix into, you know, a little bit. Let's say minus eight. It'll get the level up there. Uh, so this is the, the signal flow coming out this way. And if I wanted to add, say, a reference track, I would go over and add it to the other side. It would be over here. Let's say it's like reference one or something, right? And it'll go out main out. So directly out main out unaffected. So there's nothing on the output. So if this is a mastered uh, reference track, I can compare it to my mix with my pseudo master or up volume level coming out the uh, this monitor of my mix so this way I can still have an, a, a way to compare it and by using the bounce sub when I go to bounce it I will get it pre pseudo two bus processing and I can then take the the wave file that resulting wave file that comes from bouncing to the bounce sub and uh, master that so this is uh, kind of like a workaround for uh, not having an input uh, select. I just do it this way by skipping over. A little workaround, but it works out, so it's fine. So now I have these guys. These guys now should be going to Submaster. All my subs will go to Submaster. I did one for horns. Uh, keys. So I don't have a key, so I can, now that I have that aux there, I can select all the keys. And then select track. And that track is called keys. Right here. Boom. And it went and assigned it. Shortcut I kind of just recently sort of learned Keys have to go out to Submaster. Boom. Base sub. So this will go out. Base sub. And this will go out to Submaster. Now there's a lot of stuff going on here um, with the drums. Let's see what I got here. There's three snares, but only one kick. There's two toms. And overheads. So toms should go before the hi-hat, in my opinion. Tambourine, shaker, hand, claps, near, far. This is all percussion. That's a lot of percussion. <clears throat> so what are we doing here? Starting there. Jimbe goes through the whole song. And then these guys come in near the end. So what I'm going to do is just treat all this stuff as percussion. New track. Perk. Boom.
We could divvy that down further. Like this, my the kick I'll just leave because it's it's its own. But there's um three snares here. So I need a well, that snare is stereo. Stereo. Cancel this. Let's bring this snare out into just the... I don't know what I have currently, but I'll just give it a new track. And I'll call it snares. That way it won't affect anybody, and it'll still be in stereo, and everybody will be happy. So this guy's going out of park. I'll start I'll start here with this uh new aux tracks. I need uh mono. Yeah, just one mono and how many stereos? I'm gonna need uh uh, smack, skin, express, verb, and the aux. That'd be five. So this is going to be my parallel. This is going to be my skins, my smack, my brass, and then my D verb. Which is drum verb, not to be infused with something else called D verb, and then my drum sub. So boom, this goes out sub master solo safe. All these guys, drum sub. Where are you? right there skin smack these all go out drum sub this comes into the verb breast is my breast sub smack is These two guys are going to be my skin sub. Boom. This is going to be my drum pair. They usually have a mono snare and a mono kick sub, but uh, that snare is stereo. So the sample is, and so I'm going to leave it stereo. And I only have one kick, so I don't need a kick sub. So drum power, that's, I'll just probably throw whatever drums I want to have a more smack on them. I'll throw them out to the, the drum power. And these guys, for my individual, I like to use the H comp. And I have a preset. Boom. For my smack, I like to use the SSL. comp and I just use their preset punch yeah uh, drum verb our verbs good so that's reverb our verb the drum plate like yeah let's start there. And let's make a Tom sub. That's going to go out skins. Come on. It's right in front of your face. Where is it? There it is. 
as towns. Tom Sub. Kick's gonna go out. Skin Sub. Right here. Snare's gonna go out. Skin Sub. So they're all coming down. Here's my Brass Sub. Da, da, da. So the drums are done. Now each submaster, I told you at that mix pair. Each sub, each uh, sub bus or aux bus, whatever you want to call these for these groups. Um, I. I'm used to live mixing, so I call them subs. I call them subgroups. Well, I didn't make one for the vocal yet, but uh, so my send is gonna be mix power. Boom. And I'm also going to put on the last insert on all of them is an L2. I wish I could uh, set them all to sub. Can I do that? No, it didn't work. So I could either copy them all or set them all. Which is probably easier just to copy. Alt Dragon copies. Perk. And then drums. So now they all are set to there. The mix power defaulted. I have set my default to zero. I don't like the default to be infinity because then I have to set it to zero. I'd rather just be at zero. And I do have to make a vocal sub. I could make a separate lead vocal sub, but there's only one... So let's try it with just one for now and call it Vokes. Make it yeller. Make it go out to the submaster. And vocal sub. I'll go with Vokes. So boom. Boom. Vocal sub. Boom. And in between here and here, we're going to have, well, we could have all sorts of things, but uh, we'll start with uh, four of them, and that'll be a uh, V small, V medium, V large, and then F X boom boom yeller boom boom and these three are gonna go out to effects uh, effects um I should have made this whatever you know what all caps looks nice let's leave it that way out here bus FX and then that also goes out submaster. And we need mix power for the vocals and the effects and then the L2. All effects stay at zero. We adjust it with the sends. So already in place, there's a parallel on the mix with the V-Comp and this guy. Um, there's also these uh, limiters on each of the subs, which this uh, gives it a little bit of a boost as well. We shouldn't really hit into there except really on drums. You'll, you'll see that. 
but this is like a kind of like a overall compression over the whole mix as well as all the subs at the same time. Um, I don't want to say browerize, but I mean uh, little bits and pieces of compression throughout are will get you to uh, an even mix level, in my opinion. So, now that they're set up, if you come back to the window here, you should be able to get through the mix and be able to mute out certain things, and that way we can work on certain sections. So, if we start this, you'll, you'll see it's louder already because of the because of the uh, L3 here. So we have the, the two uh, compressions going into the premaster along with the submaster. So the submaster is all these ch all these subs coming in uh, unaffected and then uh, mixed in with the parallels into the premaster. And uh, the premaster gets printed. So for example, let me save this before I tempt fate. Uh, Save as, we'll call this number two now, because sometimes when I load up a, a certain slate plugin, sometimes it goes boom. So that guy worked okay. I have a default, I mean, I have a preset called master, and it just lightly touches it. So it sounds like this now. I don't know if I don't know if you can hear that difference but this this uh, FG Mu makes a big difference and it, it's not really touching it it's just really going through it that that it, it such a big difference to me that I leave that on all the mixes so uh it would be coming uh let me see uh, vu tape and then console so this guy goes down here my console is going to go here console now comes in the form of uh, vmr mix rack scary <laughs> and this will be my bus so put my bus on here Brit Forey he's uh, the new one he uh noise reduction and so you come out the board go into the compressor and then uh to tape master so interesting so uh zero that out for now So again, now you can do things like shut off all the drums. Shut off the percussion. I'm going to be straight and narrow for you. So there you go. You can just uh, shut up portions of the mix 
work on things like such as the guitars. Let's ride on the tips of waves, waving at everyone. More vocals. <laughs> that I guess because of these colors let's change these colors um, that's a nifty color tuber yeah usually brown is for bass guitars green silly things So I'll unmute everything. And now we do what's known as gain staging. So some DAWs make it easy. Finally, Pro Tools came with this one where it was right there on the screen instead of you having to click through to find it by holding down Control. But to reset it, you hold down Control and click. So I'll hold down Alt so that uh, or Option so that I'll get them all and click right there. And now we're all zeroed out. Oh, some analog noise there, huh? So uh, HCOM analog, where are you? Yeah, it's off. But it still makes noise. I don't know. Who knows? Da, da, da. We got the threshold detect. Let's just ignore that. So now they're all reset. And uh, we'll play the uh, song. And that way we'll get a level on each of the channels. I'm thinking we might remove these first 22 seconds. No reason to have them. So it keeps track of the peak on the channel.
Uh, you can use this to make the waveforms bigger. I cut this off. I, we could probably fade this before this, but I'm thinking should probably get this. On there. Yeah, so I'll just leave it at that. So now each of the channels have a, their maximum peak level that was hit during the playback. And uh, some exceeded zero. But it's a 32-bit mix engine, so it adjusts for zero. So it won't clip. Um, so what I do is currently I use Clang Helm. The VUMT solo on mono tracks. And I get my levels to minus 10. So this is zero. This is going to be set to minus 10. This is 0, 0, minus 9. So this is mono, this is mono, but this is a stereo. So I have to get the Clang Helm Duo to get a stereo. I'm going to link the sides. And this is... Minus 9.2, so I'll take that down to 0 0.8. Mono, mono, so I'm going to, those also at zero. So I'm gonna copy, and these are already set to minus 10. Hat is at five, that's at seven, so. Five, so I can come up five. And this is at seven, so I can come up to three. Uh, whoops. It's a stereo, so did it switch to stereo? No, it didn't. This is minus 9.3. Let's get a stereo one. Right here. Minus 9.3. Yes. Here's a mono. So we need 4.8. Zero. Let's get another zero. The kick was zero. So copy zero over. Is there any more stereo? Yeah, I'll center stereo. Ten, ten. This is a, so we go to a six. Nine point six, I mean. And this was minus two, so this goes to eight. <clears throat> this one's four, nine, six. This one was four, so right there, six point four would be three point six. That's what you do. You just keep uh, setting every channel to the offset that'll get you to 
minus 10 on each channel's input. My slides are 4.8. Seven. <clears throat> this is 5.2. Uh, 9.2. Oh, this will be 1.1. Yeah, 1.1. Another minus 10. Minus 10. 9.5. This is 9.8. Here's minus nice 10. This is 5, 6, 8, 1. Stereo, so I got a stereo one. Playing on duo. It's a 2.8. 6.3. 3. 4.7. 5.7. 1.8. 1.5. Another stereo here. So, 8.4, Here's one where I actually have to turn it up. So this is uh, 11.6 uh, to add 1.6. This is 7.6. Five point five. There's no eight point six. Less ten. So much there you go. Right here. Less ten. Eight point three. 7.3. No amount of mail. That's 2. 2.6. Minus 2 is this one. 5 3. 3.5. 3.8. 3.1. 3 And so there you go. Once you all gain staged them and uh, made these numbers add up, do it all over again. Select all channel or hold down Alt to affect all channels or Option and Command click, and they all set to zero. We'll set this at the beginning. Sit right around here-ish, and play the whole thing again.
Okay, where are we stand now? So, off by one. Gotta bring that up. Little thing in the way. So, bring this up one. And then this goes up one. Duba can come down one. Ten. Trumpet come down one. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, down one. This one, too. Down one. Ten, 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 ten. This could come up one. Ten. Oops. Ten, 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 nine, nine. So that can come down one. Ten, 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 nine. Come down one. Down one. Ten. Down one. Down one. Ten, 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 ten. So oh, minus ten. Do a save. Save as. And uh, you could do it again to make sure those little changes worked uh, or you don't have to or you could see it later or whatever whatever you need to do so that's gain staging mm -hmm.